So one of the other things that, that a lot of SQL DBAs have problems with is, is log shipping. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if you understand log shipping well enough, but basically log shipping is where I take a user database and I set up a backup strategy for it and I copy the transaction log backups across to another server, mm -hmm. which is my warm standby server, and I restore it there. Okay. So I have this server A, which is, let's say, $100,000 worth of physical hardware, and I have server B, which is $100,000 worth of physical hardware, just for my disaster recovery strategy. Right. And I can only log ship my user databases. So if I make any OS changes, I have to physically go over to the other box and make those same OS oh, changes there. Mm -hmm. If I make any changes to the system databases, I have to make those changes over on the other server to those system databases mm -hmm. because they're not replicated right. and they're not log shipped. They're not part of the log shipping paradigm. Yeah. So with our approach, because we're an image, I think we're really redefining the best practices for SQL backup. So since we have the whole machine, all that gets pushed to the other side, so it's, it, and it's self-maintained. So any change you make on the, on the production side is going to end up on the disaster side as well. And with the initial twist is that we're going to assure that the application is healthy first. So we're going to protect you. We're going to inspect the SQL database to make sure everything's cool. If they are, then we replicate them to the, then we stuff them in the DR environment. Then we update those blocks. And, 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 so that, you, that, and that could be another virtual environment. It could be another virtual environment. So you avoid the, one of the big problems with replication today is that if I'm replicating data from A to B, if it's bad here, it's going to be bad here. That's right. right. That's a yeah. huge problem. That's one of the things that has actually stopped me from replicating data. Right. So what we do is we sit in the middle. We, we take care of you, compress and dedupe you here, and validate that the databases are healthy. Once they're healthy, then we push them to the standby virtual. And we do it all at the block level, so it's really fast and efficient. So... so I can go from log shipping of a user database to log shipping, really, of a whole server. Because right. basically, it's a good you're, way to think you're, about it. Yeah. You're, you're just taking all of the transactional block changes that have occurred yeah. in the last X number of minutes and sending them across the thing. But you're doing a consistency check in between. Right. It's very cool, right? That's what we're doing. I like that analogy with log shipping. That's good. So that log is, shipping the server. Yeah, log right. shipping the whole server. That's yeah. fantastic. Yep. Because at the moment it takes me about anywhere from 30 minutes to 90 minutes to actually bring a log shipping server from standby mode to being in production mode. Uh, Sometimes even three hours, depending wow. on wow. how complex it is. So how long is it going to take me to bring that virtual server? So it, it's really, uh, it's incremental. So if, you're, if you change 20 gig of data, you're writing 20 gig, gig of data, you're a couple minutes away. I mean, that, it's that, crazy. That's right. fantastic. Yeah. So if a couple of minutes away, I've got a virtual server, so I'm going to reduce my, my, my hardware costs. Yep. And that I'm going to increase my, my turnaround from going from bad to good. Right, yep. So, so, so there's no more bad. Yeah, uh, bad, bad goes away. Yeah, bad goes away. No. Yep. Okay, it's up in a virtual environment, but if I've done my testing well enough, I should know that it's going to sit well in that virtual That's environment. Right. Right. So instead of having a hundred physical SQL servers here that I'm backing up and log shipping every day to my hundred DR boxes over here. I could actually just have a hundred virtual. That's boxes. right. You can dump them on a, a big ESX farm and boom, dump them all there. Yeah, and, talk about green, right? And, <laughs> and, and and you know, even President Obama's encouraging everybody that's to right, go to so green. You know, right. it's, it's so like we're we're going to reduce our electricity costs. Yeah. We're going to reduce our storage costs. We're going to reduce our hardware costs. Yeah. And, and you and you and we're actually our. our our disaster recovery recovery time is going to be that much quicker. It's completely application assured. That's what we like to say. Because we're, we're testing the app for you and we're making sure it's healthy before we move it over. That's fantastic. Yep. So, so we've got that. We've got that we can use it for testing. Mm -hmm. and, and we've got that we can also use it for virtualizing. So we can mm -hmm. actually take this physical SQL server and turn it into a virtual server in production without any without yeah. any any issues because you're going to get turn it into a 
whether it be an ESX or a VMware image, right. straight from, from the, the top. That's right. And, and so it gives you a lot of flexibility. And if you decide that you want to be out of a virtual machine for a particular workload, you can do it. If you decide you want to put more in the virtual machine, you can do that as well. So you have complete flexibility in, in and out of these virtual environments. So that, that's, fa us. that's fantastic. Yeah. So, 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 so realistically, this is more than just backup. This is, this is backup with virtualization, with restore testability, yeah. with restore recoverability. Yeah, it's, it's kind of feels that way, but really it's a next generation way of protecting these mission critical environments. So to us, we, we, we had the, the luxury of starting with a clean sheet of paper. So we're able to kind of look at the problem holistically without any baggage of old technology, et cetera, and use the latest and greatest techniques to build this. So we've kind of built in the best practices from Microsoft. We took the best approaches from them as well with VSS, for example, et cetera. We leveraged those things to make sure we're consistent. But then we added our own juice to, to get performance out of it, the compression and dedupe, the virtualization integration, to kind of tie all these technologies together to give you a holistic solution that really can drive drive your cost down. And deduplication, is, is that a significant advantage? You know? uh, we, we believe so. I mean, it, it, just think about the footprint, footprint that you save. It means a 90% savings over traditional methods now in, disp, in backup disk-based consumption. That's huge. So what that means is you can keep more data for a longer period of time. So I can keep more, more recovery points. I can keep a three months' worth of what I could keep with, um, you know, take, uh, I could keep like a week's worth with traditional backup products. So, so, so three months worth, so that means when the auditor comes in and he wants to look at that SQL Server how, how it was three months ago because he wants to look at some security points, right. I've Bam. got it there. He can, just, he can either virtualize it and boot it, or he can use a mount facility within our product, just mount it, and we present them as uh, uh, mount point volumes for you, and you can browse it, data mine it, whatever you need to do. That's absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Well, it's been really good having you. Yep. Thank you very uh, much. Here with us, Naj. Yeah. Um, it's been really good learning about what we can do with virtualization because the thing is is that most SQL DBAs from where I stand are frightened to go down the virtualization path mm. because it's so hard to test. Yeah, right, right, right. It, it is just so hard to go out there and test it. Right. And you, you're making it easier right? because you realistically, instead of it taking me 10 or 20 hours to put up a virtual box and get my virtual SQL Server up, copy off across my databases, across to that virtual server, restore them all. You're doing it all for yeah, me. Yeah, we have it built out. It's right out of the box for you. And I can just keep on retesting it every day. And it's automatic. So, Absolutely brilliant. Good. Thank Thanks you. for having me. Thank you. Take care.